the dramatic conclusion of my interview with Christopher Nolan. Spoiler, it's great. Do your films have meaning or being? In other words, do I have to get your film or can I experience your film? If you experience my film, you are getting it. And that, I feel very strongly about that. And I think that where people encounter frustrations with, with my narratives in the past, sometimes I think they're slightly missing the point. It's not a puzzle to be unpacked. Uh, it's an experience to be had, preferably in a movie theater, but also at home. Um, hopefully in an unbroken period, in a sort of linear period. It's an experience to be had. That is the point of it. That's the feeling of it. Everything else, if people are interested to talk about it or debate it you know, more or, or if ideas resonate, um, that's a huge bonus. But for me, it's really all about that emotional experience of, of watching the film with an audience. Some people say they don't understand Tenet. Some people say they don't understand everything in Tenet, some of it. Do you understand everything in Tenet? You're not meant to understand everything in Tenet. It's not all comprehensible. It's this sort of, it's a bit like asking if I know what happens to the spinning top at the end of Inception, uh, or the particular Do you know what happens to the spinning top at the end of Inception? I have to have my idea of it for it to be a valid, productive ambiguity. But the point of it is it's an ambiguity. As Emma always likes to say, you know, the point is that the character doesn't care whether it falls or not. Staying on Tenet for just a second here, I've got some theories that I'd like to run past you. Okay, I'm not gonna get into the satire square, which obviously I've got all figured out. But <laughs> um, Max is really Neil, right? I don't allow myself to comment on fan theories anymore. It's okay, uh, you can. You should. I Have say, fun. I... Kick off your shoes. Let your hair down. I'm not kicking off my shoes, let my hair down. I made the mistake many years ago, and luckily it was before the prevalence of social media and all the rest. I went to the Venice Film Festival and showed Memento with the first ever audience who saw it. Mm -hmm. And in the press conference afterwards, they asked me about my interpretation of the ending. And I said, well, the important thing is it's ambiguous, it's unknowable, but yeah, what I think is blah, blah, blah. And my brother Jonah took me aside after that and said, you can never do that again. I said, but I, but I said, it's ambiguous. He said, no one listened to that. <laughs> they want an answer. So if you're looking for ambiguity, if you're looking for open possibilities, sure. you have to keep your mouth shut. Do you have guilty pleasures that might surprise people? Because I've been told that you're a fan of the Fast and Furious franchise. I have no guilt about being a fan of the Fast and the Furious franchise. Okay. Tremendous action franchise. I've never seen any of the movies. Really? And I, and I really want to see them because they're such popular movies that I think that I can't, I should really try to understand more the country that I talk about every day. And I don't think I can really do that honestly without watching the Fast and Furious franchise. <laughs> and I was wondering if you would want to sit down with me and watch all of them in a row. Wow. Um, we did the timing. We have to start at 6 a.m. and you'll be done by midnight. Yeah, no, absolutely, any time. You've never seen any of them? Is that a yes? Would you watch the Fast and Furious movies? Or yeah, I watch those movies all the time. I love them. Uh, I'm amazed you've never seen one of them. You do not need to watch more than one sitting. Okay. It's not, it's, it's, uh, really? it's only the last few where a very specific arc and mythology sort mm -hmm. of developed. Um, I would start with Tokyo Drift and uh, just watch that as its own thing. Because it's in a different, you up. It's a, it happens yeah. before the others, doesn't it? In the yeah. timeline? That's uh, what I know. Not before, but oh, yes, it is before. Uh, Did I just catch Chris Nolan not understanding you know, something about time? Paradox about <laughs> exactly. The, uh, well, I was going to say something about the end of Tokyo Drift. It's a spoiler before you see it, so Please. you should see it. <laughs> Thank you, Christopher Nolan. I will be calling you about that Fast and Furious marathon. Good luck at the Oscars. That's it for The Late Show. Tune in tomorrow. My guests will be Andre 3000 and Justin Hartley. Now stick around for After Midnight with Taylor Tomlinson. Good night.